bodhicitta is by recognizing the kindness of sentient beings. So we must think about this uh, great kindness that sentient beings are engaging in. In engaging in the, um, the method for generating bodhicitta called exchanging self for others, we have to, um, uh, there's one part of it where we um, contemplate the kindness of others. And when we think about the kindness of others, we have to really think um, about, we have to engage in, in uh, sort of contemplating and recognizing how uh, sentient beings are kind. <laughs> So, um, in this, um, uh, on the subject of uh, cultivating virtue, um, uh, there are always opportunities um, in life to engage in virtuous conduct or engaging in, in, in virtue. Uh, there is never, uh, uh, we will never find a situation where there is no opportunity to engage in generosity. We will never find a situation where there is no opportunity to engage in helping others. So there are always ways in which we can engage in helping others. <laughs> So uh, when, we, when we're in couples or married, um, there are always opportunities to um, help uh, the, the, our family members. Uh, there are always opportunities to help the person whom we're living with. So, um, uh, uh, this is the engaging in the practice of, of uh, patience. Um, when our, when, um, um, so uh, the, the way in which we deal with our anger, which is something that can arise in these situations, is by the application of patience. <coughs> So, in this merit uh, stock market that we were talking about, anger will bring your stock market crashing down. So, um, uh, we get angry. So um, today I went to the, <coughs> the, the dentist with Stefan and we were we needed a ticket to go and we were standing in line and uh, the fellow was taking a very very long time and I was wondering if we were going to get onto the train or whatever and uh, at that moment I could feel this anger arising in me so my my stocks fell <laughs> so we must engage in um, the practice um, of patience so we must really so we must really think about the fact that all of our um, all of our possessions all of the things that we need our food whatever it is that all of these come to us as a result of engaging in generosity and we, we must bear this in mind and we must um, use this as a as a reason for really cultivating generosity acting generously so, um, 
So sometimes we, you know, we put a certain amount of money away, and a friend puts a, a certain amount of money away, and we sort of compare notes about our uh, the financial situations um, in this uh, merit repository of virtue. Um, um, uh, you don't see it. There's not something to to actually see. So, uh, but we, we, the way we should think is, um, I have engaged in a certain amount of uh, generosity. I, I was generous. I acted generously, and we then rejoice in that act of generosity. That that rejoicing in our generosity is important. So um, if we think um, uh, whether it's in a day or a year, but if we take a day, if we think today I acted in this amount of generosity and then we, uh, we acknowledge, we recognize that we've acted generously and then we rejoice in the fact that we've um, engaged in this generosity. <laughs> So it's not that we get a, 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 the accounts um, uh, as a result of having uh, engaged in so much generosity after months or years or whatever. Uh, it's not that we get an accounting of our um, level of merit. Um, however, if we check in the texts, uh, we can see that as a result of our generosity, we do accrue uh, merit. Now, if as a result of gen acting generously we <laughs> proud, uh, then <laughs> the stop goes down. And if we compare ourselves to someone else and we are jealous of the fact that the, that person has been more generous than we, uh, that will also cause our merit to diminish. So this, uh, this lack of um, uh, steadiness, or that there's no um, guarantee of, of which way uh, this stock of merit will go, um, um, uh, shows us that the, the direction that the merit goes depends on our attitude, the, the, our mindset, our, our, the way in which we uh, mind, uh, our, we approach it in terms of our mental attitude. So um, we can think uh, if I wish to have uh, um, the, the, the materials, um, um, the, the physical sustenance uh, in my future life, I should act generously. If I wish to have a human body, I should act um, uh, ethically. If I wish to be very good looking, I should act patiently. So if we if, um, if we wish uh, to be praised, uh, we should praise others. So uh, uh, instead of um, 
talking about <coughs> others' uh, good qualities and others' um, uh, fine acts, if we think uh, that person, uh, if we think of the negative aspects of that person, um, uh, that that is a negative attitude. <laughs> Now, uh, <coughs> harm us. Um, the, the others having harmed us is due to the fact that we have caused others harm in the past. If we can think about that and if we say to ourselves, I'm, I'm being caused harm because I have caused harm to others. Uh, this becomes um, a, a very strong um, impetus to um, uh, refrain from causing others harm. Uh, this is how we should think. <laughs> So, uh, now getting back to uh, this precious human rebirth uh, and how fortunate we are to have it. And the reason that we are fortunate to have it is that it is a, it, it is a vehicle, it is a method by which we can be of benefit to others. And so our determination to have a good uh, a human rebirth in the future um, becomes uh, in order to be able to continue to help others. So, <coughs> if we uh, wish to have a human rebirth in the future, we should engage in the action, uh, the causes for bringing about a um, uh, human rebirth. We should um, that's that's what we should meditate on, and that's what we should engage in. Um, if we wish to um, 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 uh, have uh, be a bodhisattva in our future life. We should engage in the meditations that bring about bodhicitta. Uh, if we wish to attain arhatship, um, uh, liberation from cyclic existence in our future life, then we should engage in the uh, meditation on emptiness, which brings that about. <laughs> So, um, <coughs> whatever it is that we are aiming for in our future life, uh, uh, we as human beings have the ability to actually engage in the causes that will bring that about. This is how we should come to appreciate this precious human rebirth. <laughs> So, so, um, um, not, so this, this human rebirth is very um, uh, precious, as we've just been discussing. <laughs> it is very difficult to um, uh, have, to come by. Um, if we consider the causes that are necessary in order to bring about a human rebirth, from that we can we can do, uh, we can uh, recognize that uh, it is very rare to be reborn as a human being. <laughs> So, um, if, if, if our um, 
Um, it, now we're talking about the, the, the meditation on uh, exchanging self for others. Uh, within it, we, we, we should meditate on... <laughs> we, should, we should uh, meditate on... on um, My, my goodness, <laughs> too much happening up here. Um, uh, the, uh, the, um, the benefits of bodhicitta, the, the qualities of bodhicitta, um, if we really consider, if we meditate on uh, the, uh, the qualities of bodhicitta, this will give us the, um, uh, the determination to um, uh, develop uh, to engage in bodhicitta. And this will also enhance the causes for being able to continue this uh, meditation on bodhicitta into the future. Not to the So we find. So um, we find in, in Shantideva's uh, Guide to the Bodhisattva's a Way of Life in the first chapter, um, the whole chapter is devoted to the, um, the benefits of bodhicitta. And if we uh, uh, consider uh, those verses, and if we uh, read a verse, and then think about it and, and come to recognize the, the benefits of bodhicitta. Uh, we can also memorize the first chapter and, and recite it as uh, part of our daily uh, recitation. So we can, uh, every once in a while, um, look at, the, um, uh, uh, at this first chapter. So we can start by, uh, when we read this, we can start by thinking to ourselves, well, this is what Shantideva Shanti thought, and then we read it uh, with that attitude. So, um, if one doesn't believe in future lives, I mean, probably there are, there are no people here who, who do not believe in future lives, but if, if one didn't believe in future lives, if one read this, uh, one could um, uh, think, well, um, it's a little bit uh, sort of strange and amazing, this, this belief in future lives. However, were one to believe in future lives, um, and then one would read it with that attitude of, of how people who do believe in future lives uh, see things. So uh, this is sort of briefly how uh, one thinks about bodhicitta and how one um, practices according to Shantideva's uh, Guide to the Bodhisattva's Way of Life. So please look at this text, uh, read it. Okay, okay. So we'll start. <coughs> <laughs> Lord, 